I'm assuming with the way last episode ended that this is going to be the finals and it's going to be quite the fucking match between Dewey and Mori. What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius back at it again with God of High School episode 5. Last episode we had the marriage of Yumira and the other guy, purple haired cult activist, swords guy who's trying to find the sword that can... Was it the sword cherished by the gods in the hands of the power to unleash it, which was Mira and her Moonlight style, which was insane. He ended up stealing her sword, which wasn't too big of a deal because she had her father's spirit left in her, so she was fine with that. But then Davy's friend took a turn for the worse, and so his mental state kind of uh, took a turn for the worst. So he beat the shit out of Mira, targeting her injuries that she just got, and then said, I'll see you in the finals to fucking Mori. That's how we're ending it. If you guys want to see full length of this show and any of the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. I appreciate y'all. And if you guys are not subbed, please subscribe and then join that notification gang so you always know when I post those videos. I appreciate y'all. Let's hop into this. God of High School, Episode 5. You guys are just going at it. Okay. Well, that's his friend in the hospital. Davy's a strong ass fighter too, so for him to be able to keep his own slash kick his ass too, you know. A Brazilian Jujitsu. I'm not even worried about this fight, high key. Man, that movement is sick, though. Anytime I think of Brazilian movement, I think of that one fighter from Tekken who's always like, you know what I'm talking about? All right, Rock Lee, bro. Fucking leave Hurricane head ass. Chill out, bro. That was so much of a hurricane. He's still spinning like a Beyblade afterwards. Thankfully, we have these nano machines, yeah, who can heal you because they beat the shit out of her. Everybody watching the god, all the old people at the fucking park are watching the fight too. That's hilarious. Will the tiger cub awaken? I want to see what happens when he awakens, according to Park Mujin. Man, we're starting this off hella early, okay. Oh, some strong ass kicks. Oh, the first person shots. Oh man, the camera work, especially like going 3D cameras around the, the, the ring is fucking awesome. That's what I'm saying. Davy's fist is equivalent to fucking Mori's foot. Yeah, that reminds him of Mira, but that's got to be a fucking rib broken right there for sure. Renewal Taekwondo. I love his triple kick. It's not the first time he's done that. <laughs> oh my god. That animation was way too clean. Just a means to an end. Opening the, the four stances. Black Tortoise. I see. Oh, is she going to see Davy's homie? Maybe. That's the commissioner who just got the call. Oh, Sungte. The animation for this is insane. Vermilion Bird. Oh, 
君が明日の準決勝とその後の決勝で圧倒的な勝利 And the finals following that If you can win the preliminaries will do it That way you still have the motivation to continue to fight in the actual God of High School tournament What's the fourth one? I wanted to see the fourth one last time Azure Dragon. It's a fucking Kamehameha, bro. That's insane. Black Tortoise, Vermilion Bird, White Tiger, fucking Azure Dragon. Oh, here comes Park Mujin. So it's like school gangs versus other school gangs, and his homies ditched him in this time, but Sung Tae came and helped him, and that's how they became close buddies. You know, that's that's that's. that's, that's あ、ビジュアライゼーションフォーヒムとジャスティスディスペアお前の仲間たちもきっとびっくりするぜ仲間じゃないお前が信じた分だけ相手も信じてくれる必ずなあ、ビジュアライゼーションフォーヒムとジ
てないな Come on, how could you not like this? Come on, that's me right there. That's hilarious. Man, these guys are truly some the squad, you know? Oh man, we're already hyping up next episode. We got this guy who's dope, green hair. We got this guy who's fucking dope. Who else do we come on man? This shit's fucking lit, bro. Don't gotta be worried anymore, Sungte. Them right over, man. That is. Bro, five episodes into an anime and it's fucking. It's not even like an emotional anime and I'm already crying, bro. Got a fucking high school, peeps. It's just crazy, you know, how horrible or not necessarily horrible but how alone or secretly depressing your life can be and how one singular friend one good friend who cares about you can change that you know like they always say you'd much rather have a small small friend group a small so social circle of close people who genuinely care and support you versus you know like the most popular wide amount of friends who couldn't give a fuck about you so like Sunte, I hope I'm I, I I don't know if I'm butchering his name, but like he was genuinely the embodiment of that one friend. Literally didn't even know Davy. Saw that he had this kind of loyal side to him, stuck his neck out for him, and in return made that relationship of a lifetime. And that's just crazy because I didn't think that he would actually die. Like I thought last episode he died, but that was just like a way to propel our character forward and you know give him that arc. But then for him to survive. For us to come so close to actually saving him, and then to die even more, to die, to actually die, you know, it's just like, that's crazy, and he left such a, such a impression on fucking Daewoo, you know, like, crazy, Daewoo definitely wouldn't be the person he is today without Sung Tae, and it's like, like, I love, he's like, you're awkward, you know, I'm clear, I bet you I'm the only friend you have. A man can admit defeat once he's given it his all. You know, I definitely respect that, commend that. He gave it his all. He took defeat like a man, like he was happy. His only worry was that day we was be left with no friends like that, but Ori and Mira, man, that shit is, that shit is touching. Before I go shed some more thug tears, I'm gonna end this episode right here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you guys aren't. I'm gonna go cry my eyes out. Thank you, Dapper Squad. Peace out, y'all.